Hey, hey, I'm back to feature and share with you our jet ski experience in Boracay. Hello there again guys and welcome to my vlog. Worth it ba mag jet ski sa Bora? Apparently, riding the jet ski is very costly and considering that the ride is very quick, is it worth it? Well, let's see. We rented the jet ski twice on two separate days when we were in Bora and I'd say the experience was different for each. What I'm showing you first is our very first jet ski ride. Again, this was with the help of our soaking agente. <laughs> I'm referring to Rex, the guy who assisted us in all the water sports activities that we did in Bora. We were led to this uh, small hut, which you saw just now, where we made our payment and filled out some forms for registration. For this ride, we were charged 2,000 pesos for the one jet ski that we had rented. And that was good for 15 minutes only. Yes that fast. However guys, depending on your negotiation skills, you may be given some additional time beyond that. This place is just in front of Astoria Hotel uh, at Station 1. There, that's Astoria Hotel. All major water sports activities are done far from the shore. There are rafts or floaters at a distance from the shore where you can do your jet ski, helmet diving, banana boat ride, parasailing, etc. Apparently, you'll have to take a boat ride to those places, and this floating walkway at Station 1 is where they will fetch you. It's good in the sense that aside from your main activity, eh, you'll get to ride on their speedboat together with one or two other persons who aren't directly participating in that activity. <laughs> So for this case, the jet ski was basically just for my eldest son, as he was the one who paid for it. Then all of us just tag along with him. So libreng sa kay diba? Libreng pasyal na din sa magandang isla na ito. And yeah, we got to join him for free and had a tour of Boracay on a speedboat. By the way, for those of you staying at Station 3, don't worry about how far the walkway is because there's another one located on the border of Stations 3 and 2. I suppose that's a border. Well, you can check that out in my other vlog entitled Best Gym Workout and Running in Boracay, Philippines. Kita nyo naman guys, ang saya din sa speedboat, diba? <laughs> well, for those of us who don't get to experience this on a regular basis, then this is definitely exciting. And yeah, there were other people with us on the boat. They are Koreans. We observe a lot of Korean visitors here in Bora. Oh my God. <laughs> there, that's a floating raft where we did a jet ski. And there are several of those out there servicing other water activities. We waited for a few minutes for our jet ski to be available as there were others ahead of us. Also, you see that floating plastic container with money inside? That's for those who want to give some tip to these guys. So I suggest that you bring along with you some cash every time you participate on activities that are done far from the shore, like this jet ski, even the helmet diving and parasailing, which I'll feature later on. Okay. Try now. Oh. Careful, ah. Don't, remember the neutral, ah. Don't press it. Wow. Nice. Before my son was able to ride on his own, one of the guys there taught us how to control it first, of course. So my son and I rode with him while he drove the jet ski and showed us how to use it and the official path or route. By the way, the brand of this jet ski is Sea-Doo GTX. The reason why it's important to know is because we find this to be the better jet ski compared to another one that I'll be showing you later. Unfortunately, I don't know the company, the company name who owns this place, hence I can't recommend it here. But when you talk to those so-called agents at White Beach to book for a jet ski ride, I guess you can tell them to ensure that you're taken to this place that has this Sea Doo GTX. Yeah! 
Okay, don't not, not too fast person. Grabe, grabe tong anak ko sa sobrang bilis. Para akong mahuhulog. While riding there, I thought to myself, my goodness, it was my son's first time only and yet, he drove as though he was a pro. Well, he was enjoying it so much and um, that's the most important of all. By the way, there's just a particular path where you can do the jet ski. It's a circular route where you can go around continuously until your time was up. And you see that flag down there? There are several of those around the circumference of the route to guide you. You cannot drift away from the path or they will chase after you. And in case you do and there, and there is an accident or you damage the jet ski for whatever reason, definitely you'll be paying for it. Therefore, listen carefully to their instructions and obey. Finally, I was able to relax. My son drove so fast, my goodness. Uh, uh, Rigel, you, you hold him, embrace him uh, if it's too fast, I mean. Okay. Be okay, careful. Lang, uh. Whoa, they were back so quickly. Later on, I learned that my younger son couldn't take his brother's driving either. Somewhere, he almost fell. What can you say about the jet ski? Really? Yeah, you were very fast. You know, for a first timer, you were very fast. Even your first round, you were already like driving so so fast. Huh? Mm. Several days later, <laughs> we were back for another jet ski. We're doing jet ski again for the second time. This time, um, we're renting two jet skis. One for Gabe and the other for me and Rigel. We expected to be brought back to the same place where we first did the jet ski, but to our surprise, it was different. We learned that this actually was owned by a different company. Well, the place itself was bigger and sturdier. It looked more solid, it was cemented. However, the jet ski was of a different brand and looked smaller. I'm not a jet ski expert, so I can't say much about it, but based on my experience, our experience, it was not as good as the first. I found it difficult to maneuver or probably because I'm just a newbie. I don't know, but it shouldn't be that complex, right? <laughs> and yeah, even my eldest son noticed it. However, see him? Well, he could still drive it as fast as before, as, as fast as the first one, I mean. But what was important is that they truly enjoyed it, both the first and the second. Though of course, the first was still better. For this second jet ski ride, I just did one round and I let my younger son just use it for the remaining rounds or time. Go pa! Where were you? What? I fell off Oh, where were you, Ba? Oh. Rigel is there, oh. It's fast. That's Gabe. And that's Rigel. One more round, da. One more round. Last. 
Ya, las. A while ago, this elder son of mine was explaining to me that he actually fell off. So that was why I couldn't find him encircling the route. Nice, Rigel! So were these jet ski rides worth the price? A thousand yes. That's considering the fact that this is something that's so rarely done. And for your grown-up sons or daughters, they will truly enjoy it especially if they don't have prior experience on it. Why deprive yourself or your children of that experience, right? And some more, this is Boracay. Doing this in a beach resort that is as beautiful as this, it's so worth it. That's it guys. Thanks so much for watching and listening. And don't forget to click like and subscribe.